the Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Bernard State Lawrence Onoja Jr. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Good morning. Yeah, Mr. Onoja, uh, straight up, the Baba Othman National Secretary of Meiti Alakato Business Association just left us on the phone as well. He yes. talks about how they were not carried along before this law was passed and then was implemented. And he's saying that's the, one of the biggest issues they have. Well, if, uh, if the, the president of uh, Miyati Allah is saying so, then um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, that that is very, very wrong and that is a lie. I've said it before that, look, this, um, this, this law took lots and lots of months of preparation before it was brought into bear. As it is right now, um, we, we, everybody was brought into the formation of this law. From the Mieti to the farmers, to the traditional rulers, and every other stakeholder in the United States. These meetings were held across the state from zones A, B, and C, and even the final meeting which took place in Makodi, where input from Benue citizens, where input from civil society, uh, um, 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 civil society and everybody was collated before the, 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 the accent of this law. So to say that this law was enacted without the input of the Nietzsche Allah, it is extremely false. What input? And we in the United States, we is completely it, condemn that statement. Is it possible for you to say what inputs they had into this law? Because he's saying that they were not called to the table to talk about this. So is it possible for you to identify the, what is their input? The Nietzsche Allah Makban sat in government house in a new banquet hall and accepted this law. It is on record. So, to not say that it did not have any input, I cannot categorically say what and what and what they said here right now, because I'm not, I'm, I'm not in the House of Assembly. But I'm saying that they were called for this, for this meeting. We had, the governor had multiple meetings with these people, even before they had, uh, 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 this law was, uh, even, uh, was, was brought out from the um, Benedict House of Assembly. So to say that they don't have, they don't have a part in this law is a complete lie. So will the government of Benway State be willing to perhaps look back, bring back this law, um, some of the concerns that the, the headers have raised, uh, like he mentioned earlier that the issue of grazing is coming after the law. Like, like it should be ahead of it. Like they should have the grazing reserve areas, then this law can come into place. Will the government of Benway State be willing to look into that law again? The government of Benin State and the people of Benin State have said it simply, and we will continue to say it. We do not have land for grazing reserves in Benin State. We are not interested in open grazing in Benin State. Anybody who wants to ranch, whether you are an indigenous or a full animal man or a headman, as long as you are handling cattle, you must ranch. It is as simple as that. We, we shouldn't keep going back and forth on this issue. You ranch your cattle, or you don't want to. You don't want to uh, 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 coexist peacefully in Benin State. It's very simple. You keep. They keep on talking about uh, open grazing. They keep on talking about roots. You, you you allow them to keep on passing. They keep on going into people's farmland, and they keep on destroying. And as long as they keep on destroying uh, 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 the, the, the economic base of Benin State, we will keep on having these issues. And so it's very simple. We are not interested. We, we don't have any any any. Um, Grazing routes or areas reserved for grazing. Everybody should ranch. As long as you are, whether you are an indigenous, you are a Benin indigenous, you are a full animal, you must ranch your cattle. Well, okay. okay. The, one of the things he raised is uh, that the process of even getting the land, according to the law, is very cumbersome and tedious, and it's difficult for them to even get the land if they announce, okay, they want to ranch. And these are all part of the things they're talking about. So, what's the process like? Is it possible to look at it from that angle? The process is very, very simple, and we have we have we have cut down all the prices on land charges in Benue State to make it easier for people who want to acquire this land for 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 ranching purposes. In, if you if, if you are an indigenous or if you have somebody here who has had land before, and you can enclose your your your, your cattle, no problem. If you don't, you either approach the the the, 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 the local government um, secretariat or you approach 
the Ministry of Land in the States, and you apply for a land. The thing is so simple. It's a one-stop shop as it is right now. You go, you apply, you pay the necessary dues, which, like I said earlier, has been cut down. Even um, recently, the government is even talking of even still slashing it down to make the process easier for people to pay and get their fee of vote. So the process has been made very, very simple. You can either get the local government fee of vote or the state government fee of vote, depending on where you want to do, you want to situate your ranch. And everything has been oversimplified to make sure that every, people are getting their lands every day here. So if they don't come and apply, to, to get a portion of land because they are a portion for for, 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 for ranching. How do they how why are they complaining that they are not that, that the process is tedious? The process is not serious. If they have a problem, I am the commissioner for information, they can even approach my office and we'll get these things done for them. What is the security yes. situation in Benway State? Briefly, please. Yes. Yes, um since the coming of the IG, um the the, the security presence in Benway State has been um has been improved um, tremendously. Um, as of right now, we have had about uh, nine um, police mobile men, um, the investigative wing of the police, and then also aerial surveillance over the affected area. So since the coming of the IG, the security situation has improved a bit, but there's still a lot more to be done because. Uh, we we are more interested in the, the, the bringing to book of the people who are involved in these unwarranted killings of our people. Okay. So we talk, the, the security situation is better, but uh, there's still a lot that needs to be done. Just before we go, the, there's this group that was arrested that, um, they, I mean, the, the guy we had, Honorable Lado, says they confessed that they were armed by the state government to protect or to enforce the law. Do you know anything about that? The state government, the state government has not uh, empowered. Uh, the state government did not empower the, the 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 the. They would not empower them with guns. We did not. They are, they, they, the intention of their creation is to apprehend, but not to to engage and not to uh, prosecute. Okay. okay, thank you so, so much, uh, Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Benway State, Lawrence Onodja.